Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get the max FPS possible with the best visibility in Chrono Odyssey. This game is very poorly optimized, so you may still experience FPS stutters. However, I'm going to be showing you how to get the best FPS while still making the game look at least visually appealing because if you set this stuff all the way to low, the game is gonna look really bad. So for display mode, normally I would tell you to set this to full screen to dedicate its full resources to the game for the best performance however i did extensive testing between borderless and full screen and borderless in this game actually runs better for some reason try both yourself however borderless for me is running better so i would suggest trying borderless first and if you're having trouble you can maybe switch to full screen now your resolution is going to be set to the native resolution of your monitor mine's 1920 by 1080 now going down you're going to want to make sure that your resolution scale is set to 100 if you switch the graphics quality it's going to automatically adjust this resolution scale Scale. I don't know why they're doing that, but you should just always make sure it's on 100 no matter what settings you're using. Moving down, global illumination, you're going to want to set to medium. This gives a significant FPS boost over higher settings. Setting it to low makes the game look visually flat, so I would avoid doing that. Shadow detail, you're going to set to medium. It offers a good balance of visual quality and performance, providing a 6 to 7% FPS boost compared to higher settings. This can be set to low if you're struggling for frames. Anti aliasing, you're going to set to medium. This provides around a 5% FPS boost. On low, it looks too rough and jagged, while higher settings can make the image blurry. Draw distance is going to be set to medium. It prevents distracting object pop-in that occurs on low. A good balance for immersion and performance. For texture quality, this is going to be dependent on your VRAM. If you have 10 GB plus VRAM, you can do cinematic. If you have 8 GB plus, you can do epic. 6 GB plus, you can do high. 4 GB plus, you can do medium. And if you're really struggling, you can switch it down to low. This setting should be matched to your GPU's available VRAM to prevent stuttering. So for me, I'm going to set this to high. The effect detail, you're going to want to set this to low. I've noticed a significant amount of FPS stutters when it comes to effect details, so I would make sure that you set that on low. Reflection quality, you're going to want to set to low. This is a major performance strain. Setting it to low provides a substantial FPS increase. Post processing, you're going to set to low. This gives a nice 5% FPS boost and removes a blurry effect, resulting in in a cleaner and sharper image. Now, super sampling is not currently available in this playtest, so you can skip that. Now, coming down here, this is extremely important, okay? You should not have maximum frame rate set to unrestricted in this game. In the current playtest right now, if you have it set to unrestricted, you will get FPS problems. Your FPS will not be unrestricted. It will actually be stuck at around 60, and it will not be able to go any higher. So the best setting for you is if you have a 60 hertz monitor, you should just set your max frame rate to 60. If you have a 120 hertz monitor, you should set it to 120. If you have a 144 hertz monitor, you should set it to 144. And if you have a 240 hertz monitor or higher, you should just leave it at 144. Do not go unrestricted. You will have problems with your game if you do this. Now, color filter type. I messed around with the color filters. I didn't notice much of a difference, but you can mess with them and see. I did notice the game has kind of like a flashbang effect to it in certain areas. So I would suggest lowering the brightness just a little bit and then make sure that your motion blur is turned off because this can just cause visual noise and then v-sync you're going to want to make sure you turn off to reduce any input lag now when it comes to directx 12 directx 12 is generally better for modern gpus while directx 11 can be more stable on older systems so test both out and see which one works best for you drop a like if you like no bs tutorials i will continue to be live streaming chrono odyssey here on youtube so make sure you subscribe Peace.